All right, so in all these previous ones, we've got the angle. We've been putting in sign of 76 degrees. We've been putting in sign of 32 degrees and 43 minutes. Now we don't know what the angle is. That is what we were trying to find out. So we've been putting in the angle and finding the ratio. Now we are going to put in the ratio and find the angle. Now, this one says sine theta equals 0 0.738. The one thing I don't like about when we teach this topic is I'm giving you this 0 0.738 and you're going, well, what the hell is that number? Why is that number there? That number is the ratio. Now, sine theta equals what? Using soccer Sine theta opposite over. Excellent. So this is basically the same as having... This is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse, right? So we know that sine theta... Um, this is a yeah. No, I know, but uh, uh, I can edit this bit out, but I need to show you this before I'll show you that. Oh, right. right. Okay? Um, the sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, correct? Yes. All right. We've said it's also equal to 0 0.738 in this particular example. Now, I want to write 0 0.738 as a fraction because that's what I've got for my ratio. So let's make that 738 and 1000. Would you agree that that is the same as that? Yes. That is the decimal, well, seven, that's 738 thousandths. Yeah? So I've just written that as a fraction. Everyone happy with that? Yes. Okay. Now, that's the opposite. So this is obviously equal to 738, and this is obviously equal to 1000. So now I've got a triangle. All of a sudden I've got this triangle and I've got the length of the hypotenuse is 1,000 and the length of this bottom bit is 738. Okay? So if it was like 10 you'd do over 100? Yeah. So I've got the lengths of those. Okay? If I had another triangle that looked... Oh my God, I'm choking myself. If I had another triangle... <laughs> if I had another triangle that looked like... Uh, <laughs> yes, I can't move too far, I'm dying. Okay, if I had another triangle that looked like that... Okay? So that's still my opposite, that's still my hypotenuse. Okay? And I said, right, this length is 4, this length is 5. I'd love to hear that on the video. Okay? <laughs> then, sine theta <laughs> equals 4 over 5, because that's opposite over hypotenuse, you agree? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? And 4 over 5 is actually 0.8. So it's very close to that. But I can then, given this, all that I'm trying to say is that this number that we've got on that board is just the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cool? Yep. It's not just a number we've made up. They've obviously got a triangle. They've got the opposite and the hypotenuse, and the ratio between them is 0 0.738. <laughs> cool with that? Yeah. All right, now. Can we listen to that? Well, unfortunately, I've just lost my whiteboard, my marker, so I have to do it with my fungo. That's right. I've got to do it with my fungo. Fungo. All right. So, the blue one there. yeah, I know, I've got the black one and the blue one, but the green one's my favourite. <laughs> How pathetic is that? <laughs> I have a favourite. <laughs> no, the, the, the nib on it's a better nib, and it goes across the Alright. Red man's heart. Yeah. Red man's so, red man's stop. That's what Red does mean stop, but it also means fast cars. Alright. So what we've got, ladies and germs, what we've got is we've got been given this ratio of 0 0.738. That is the sine ratio. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to find the angle. Now last time you did this, you went sine and you would have put in 0 0.738, correct? That looked similar to what we've done before? That's great, except that's not finding an angle, that's actually finding, that's actually finding the ratio. Excellent. If I did that, I get this weird number. That's not even close. Shift. On your calculator, there is a shift button. Above your sign is a sign minus one. Okay? Which actually means the inverse of sign. Okay? And it'll look like that. Sign minus one. This is really important. When you are finding the angle, you need to use the inverse of sign. Now, I could go through all the technical stuff and say that, well, if you had to get theta on its own, how do we get theta on its own? It says sine times theta, basically, here. So how do we get theta on its own? If that's times, what do we do? We divide. 
So if you divide it, you'd have 0 0.73 out divided by sine. Divided by sine. Now, if you had something on the bottom of a fraction, uh, the, the indice, the power of it is minus 1. Okay? So the notation, you'd write sine minus 1. That means 1 over sine. Make sense? No? Fine. You don't have to worry about it. The okay. inverse is sine minus 1. Okay? Now, all you do is exactly the same you did when you had the angle. You just put in 0 0.738, close your brackets. And what you're doing is actually finding the angle rather than the ratio. Enter that, and that's your angle. 47.56 degrees. Now, this one says round your answer to the nearest degree. What if it said degrees in minutes? So you're going to say that's 48 degrees, I hope. Is that correct, John? Yeah. Good. What if you needed to do it to the nearest minute? What would you do? You'd um, put press zero it DMS button. Oh, zero I think, press the DMS button. Why do you think I had the chair there? Oh. Press the DMS button. You press the DMS button. So if I needed to find out degrees in minutes and seconds, I could yeah. do that and it tells me 47 degrees, 33 minutes, 40.77 seconds. But we're going to the nearest degree. Now, Surly, you had a question about how you know when to round. When do you go to the next minute? If you're talking about time, when are you closer to the next minute than you would be to the previous minute? When you get past 30 seconds. It's the same with degrees, minutes, seconds. You get past 30 seconds, you go to the next minute. You get past 30 minutes, you go to the next degree. 30 is the halfway mark. But if you're not sure, press the DMS button again and it takes it to a decimal and you should know how to round decimals. Cool? Yeah, 48 degrees is the nearest degree. Cool. What I would recommend, if ever you get a question like this, write down what you're putting in. Sine minus 1, 0 0.738. I wrote then shift you get your to sine. Sorry? I know what I'm doing. Shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write that. Write shift. So that you know that you've got to press the shift button to get to that thing. Because I've had this before, and then I thought about it, and I remembered that you had a question. Yeah. So you're all good with that? Yeah, yeah.